Hello, this is Andrew Klein. Today I have a video tutorial for you based on a script that I have written. Uh, the script is called Herd Maker. Uh, the purpose of the script is it allows you to create duplicates with uh, random position and rotation of a uh, background object uh, such as this cow pig creature I have here uh, for the purpose of making a uh, randomized herd. Uh, so I want to show you how this uh, script works and I also want to show you where you can download that. So first off let me uh, show you. Uh, if you go to andrewkline.net you can find this script at andrewkline.net slash share slash herdmaker underscore v8 for version 8 dot zip. So that is uh, herdmaker, all one word, uh, and then version 8 v8 dot zip. So if you just go there, it will pop up in your downloads. And uh, I have that here in my downloads right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, first, you know, with the script that I have, uh, I am going to load that into the script editor, execute it, and then uh, show you how this all works. So here in the script editor, first I'm just going to go to File, Load Script, and uh, choose that script. You can place it wherever you want on your computer, uh, and I will say Open. Uh, in the script itself, you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, uh, this script is uh, free to use and tweak. Uh, for your own non-commercial work. Uh, but if you do tweak this and you do use it, please attribute the code to me, Andrew Klein. That would be very, very uh, nice of you. Thank you. Um, and uh, the code itself uh, works in a couple of ways. I'll, I'll walk through in just a second. So uh, first, I'm going to go to File, or actually Command, and go to uh, Execute, Executing the Script. Uh, doing so is going to create a new window called HerdMaker. And uh, in that window, uh, we'll examine what's going on. So first it says, click this button, this is step one, to create a sizing cube, the size of which determines the spacing of the herd. So the way I've set the script up, uh, you could have a base object, the base um, creature, character, whatever it is, object, um, wherever you want in your uh, world, or whatever size you want. And you might have uh, frozen your transformations, you might not have. The script tries to work around that by getting the user to define the exact size in the beginning of this. So uh, you'll notice this uh, character is called start. Um, and its transformations are frozen out. Uh, I'm going to click Create Sizing Cube, and that's going to create a new object called Size Cube. Uh, that Size Cube, I will then, through step two, move and scale around my already created first herd member. Um, I should not use the component level transformation, so I shouldn't edit this at the vertex level. Um, and uh, do not freeze the transformations when you're done. The whole point of this is to get a rough bounding box that uh, lets the script know roughly how big the size of your creature is so that it can space out the rest of your creatures uh, proportionally. So once we've done that, we can move on to step three, which is determining how big this herd should be. Uh, we have a couple of options to create my population size. Um, note for these and the following option, you should only press this once. Uh, doing it more than once will uh, actually invalidate the script. So we have a couple of options here for the size of my herd, small, medium, large, and extreme. Um, let's do a, uh, let's do an extreme herd first. So I'll click extreme, uh, and then I can choose in step four, how should the herd members be spaced? Uh, tightly spaced, moderately spaced, or very separated? So let's have these tightly spaced for right now. Well, when I've chosen those variables, uh, in step five, it says select the first herd member and then press the create herd. So uh, I can do this in the viewport, select my herd member, or I can do this in the hypergraph as well. Uh, and when I have this and when I'm ready, I just hit create herd. And uh, you'll notice that I now have a herd that has the size and spacing that I demanded. Now you'll notice that the uh, herd is all grouped under whole herd. It also renamed my creature from start to whole herd. Uh, and also these are all instanced, so if you were to edit one of them, they would all edit at once. Uh, the only thing to note about this is that it does you know, intersect some of them at some points. It, I think does a pretty good job of separating them out, but there are some that you may want to tweak very manually at the end and just separate out a little bit. But um, for getting a good generic first placement, I think this is a uh, very, very useful sort of script. So um, let's actually go back here and let's look at a different spacing real quick. So let's try and uh, run this script one more time. So I'm just going to go to load script uh, right here. 
I'll say open, and I will execute that. Uh, again, it's going to ask me to go through the same options, so I'm going to create my little size cube here. And uh, once I have this roughly placed around the uh, creature, um, I will be good to go. Now you can also create some variables in this uh, user-defined variables just based on the size of this initial cube. So if you want a little bit more spacing, you can make this cube a little bit more generous. And if you want them to be a little bit tighter, you can actually make this cube a little bit smaller. And that will affect uh, the multipliers that are sending these buttons. So this time around, uh, let's make a small herd that is very separated. I'll select my start object, I'll hit create herd, and now I've got a small herd that is very separated. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed a look at this script. Um, like I said, it's free for download, free for non-commercial use, and uh, please feel free to tweak it. Uh, you can find that at andrewkline.net. Um, for more video tutorials, please visit kleinmakelearngood.com or my YouTube channel, uh, Slurp the Gill Man, youtube.com slash Slurp the Gill Man. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.